Hey, my perfect Pisces, and welcome to your general weekend slash next week reading. Do you remember this is a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out your moon readings if you haven't already. Uh, that's a little bit new for me to post on my channel, so I do hope you enjoyed them. If you did, uh, let me know. I would like to do them again if you liked it. Otherwise, please let me know if you like this by liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that great stuff. And otherwise, without further ado, let's get at it, shall we? We're going to use this deck, another plain tarot deck for your challenge card, and we are going to use three oracle decks to give you the best all around that we can. Uh, we don't use reverses on this since it is just a energy reading for the weekend slash next week. All right, we've got some major cards going on here. Woo wee, okay. <laughs> so we're starting out with the Empress card, okay? So for um, many of you, I do feel like this is something where you have had a week that you are coming out of feeling um, like you've accomplished a lot. You feel proud, you feel like you've finished the week in a way that you are able to kind of sit back, enjoy the fruits of your labor, kind of relax, you've earned it, and um, kind of just enjoy what's going on. Take some time, take a minute, okay? Because you've been burning and turning, okay? Working hard. Um, this is gender neutral, of course, but as the Empress, um, it is a maternal uh, figure, so you may have been working hard, taking care of your kids. Again, not, not to say that you're not a dad, same thing, working hard, taking care of the kids, taking care of the house, taking care of work, taking care of business, period, end of story. Um, and you are ready to just sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor, okay? Well-deserved too. Um, it also could mean that some of you, since this is a kickoff card, find out this weekend um, and next week that maybe you are uh, expecting. Um, so if you are, kudos to you. Um, and I am getting that vibe and I never ever get that vibe from this card, honestly, even though that is literally what this card is about, is like growth, fertility, motherhood, all that kind of good stuff too. I never get that vibe, but I just got that vibe. So for some of you, I do feel like you, you may very well find out that you are expecting if you haven't already, or you may have just found out. So if so, congrats. Um, anyway, moving forward, and that goes for the men too, if your significant other is expecting. Um, your next one is the Ace of Cups. So again, you are just banging out that energy, man. I'm telling you, you are feeling like confident. You're exuding charisma. You are social um, or as social as you ever are. If you're a non-social typically person, you are feeling like, you know, you are just, your cup literally runneth over. You're happy, you're joyful, everything. So again, for those of you who just found out that you might be having a baby, I can see why this is happening. The whole family's probably elated. Um, for those of you who are, you know, just finishing up a really, you know, good and, you know, proactive, um, productive work week, you are feeling very good about it, um, ready to enjoy it. You may be having plans to, to do stuff, do something fun, you know, with other people. Maybe you have spring break coming and you're going somewhere, going to be around people. Um, could be something where you have opportunities coming in to do fun stuff could be something where you also have um, plans with friends, family members, reunions coming up, anything like that. But I just see you are gonna be out and about more than, than usual. You are projecting a lot more um, you know, high frequency uh, excitement and um, you know, just confidence. And that's, that's something that for a lot of you, I do feel like, and this is not to say that, you know, you're normally um, down in the dumps or you're normally like um, a non-confident person, but I think for some of you, you know, you're not normally this exuberant or, you know, super confident as you are right now. I feel like this is something that, you know, over the, this weekend into next week, you're going to be feeling more confident than normal and um, holding yourself a little bit higher than normal and walking with your head a little bit higher than normal. So I do feel like you are, um, you know, you're just exuding that. Okay. So people are going to pick up on it. They're going to want to be part of it. You know, when you're setting those high frequency vibes, they're going to be reading those high frequency vibes and kicking them back to you. So, you know, that's a good thing. Positive. Um, and then you have Ace of Pentacles down here. Like I said, you are kicking out just energy, energy, energy. Amazing right now. Um, Ace of Pentacles vibes. So again, I think that's going to come feeding off this Ace of Cups energy. Honestly, I do feel like what's going to happen here is because you are exuding that, because you are confident, because you are 
kicking out those high frequency vibes because you are out and about more because of all of those things culminating together you are going to be able to like network more people are going to be able to see you in a different light more confident more able bodied to do things um, just more um, higher esteemed kind of situation and I think that's going to have people offering you more options okay as far as like you might get some job opportunities you might get some um, financial connections with this you might meet some people of some high financial stature throughout this weekend and next week um, throughout you know the week you might get some opportunities for investments or partnerships with people uh, because they see you in a different light they're like wow who is this confident person you know I maybe I you know, I've known you forever but I haven't really noticed you being like this um, and it could all be stemming too from again if you've had a really successful work week that you busted your butt on or whole quarter potentially you know end of the financial quarter maybe you just really kicked butt and took names and now you're like whoo I can sit back and relax for a hot minute um, but because you're so proud of what you did and deservedly so um, you know, you are like just kind of shelling out those vibes of, you know, proud work, dominant strength and good, you know, energy. And so people are noticing it. And so, you know, raises, promotions, you know, other people of um, high financial levels taking notice, wanting you to join up with them for, you know, jobs, investments, different things. I think that is probably what is going to happen. Again, when you're putting out high frequency, high frequency comes back to you. Um, so let's see what your challenge card there might be because right now I am seeing you just rocking the house. <laughs> You're rocking it out. So I'm not really seeing a whole lot of challenge yet. Um, but of course, there's always some sort of little challenge to really aggravate us, right? We can't do anything without there being some sort of challenge. That would, What fun would that be, right? So, all right, we have the magician. Okay, well, the magician in this one. <sighs> so I see this as twofold, okay. This is one of two things, depending on which part of the collective you're in, okay? I see this as for some of you. I feel like if you are one of these people that is a super go-getter, okay? And you are, you know, you've had your second to relax, you've had your moment, but you are just that, you love the go-get it, you love that, uh, you know, productive feeling, you love being the, one who is just cranking and turning out the, the good work and doing the good things and all of this and that, right? So as you're kicking out your Ace of Cups energy, people are noticing, as I mentioned, and you get opportunities, right? Okay, opportunities left and right for other jobs. If you're a business owner or self-employed or you do side hustles or, you know, your work is your cup's running over with work. I mean, you just, it's tons. People, everybody wants you to do their stuff. If you are a nine to fiver, they are like, okay, here's more work. Here's a uh, promotion. Here's this and that maybe, okay, whatever it may be because they're recognizing your talents left and right, okay? But as the magician, this could be you, meaning that you're your own worst enemy right here because you see yourself as all these tools at your disposal. If you look at the magician card, they literally have the cups, the wands, the swords, the pentacles, they've got it all, right? So you see yourself as, I can do anything, I can do it all. So you are the person who takes on way too much, okay? You're gonna be like, okay, well I took my minute to sit back and enjoy it, it was fun, but now I'm ready to get out there and bang it all out again and you are gonna burn yourself out, right? The brightest candle burns out the fastest, okay? So slow your roll because this can make you your worst enemy, okay? The second option being that this could be somebody who is, you know, a magician can be a very deceitful person, a deceiving person, a person who wants to come in and trick you with all the tools at their disposal to try and you know, take advantage. Okay. So if there's somebody in your life, an ex, perhaps a family member, we've all got somebody at some point in our life that's been that person that you just don't trust, right? 
you know, you're related to them or you're friends with them or you were married to them or in some regard and, you know, they are always coming around, you know, they're going to pay you back that $30, but you'll never, you know, you'll never see that $30 again, no matter what, but you loan it to them because you're like, oh my God, why? just go away. Here's 30 bucks. Just go, you know, whatever. Um, but this person is seeing your Ace of Cups energy. They see you're getting a bazillion opportunities. They see you doing so well. They see you are on point, on your game. They see Ace of Pentacles energy and opportunities flying in at you at rapid pace. I mean, you are just inundated with the opportunity and ability to make money hand over fist should you want to. And probably will, probably can do whatever you want to do. You can do, frankly, with this lineup. And I, I believe you can for sure. But they are going to want to try to piggyback off your skills, your talent, your hard work, and all of your um, connections, your charisma, your uh, new found, um, you know, opportunities, what have you. Um, so you need to watch out for this person, okay? So this could be a person that is going to try to um, come in and maybe, you know, hey, you know, why don't you let me invest with you? Uh, you know, and then, you know, you, you get get involved with them and then you never see their side of the money, but you, you know, their names on everything, you know, something like that. Okay. Or, you know, Hey, I see you've got this and this, can I piggyback on that? And you get them a job and then they never show up to work. Um, or, you know, Hey, can I borrow something? Or, Hey, I need a place to stay or you know, whatever it may be. This person is going to try to use, abuse, ride this train as long as they can. Okay trick you, deceive you, whatever they need to do to try to, um, you know, monetize off of your, um, I, I would say good fortune, but it's not even good fortune, it's hard work, honestly, but try to monetize off your hard work. So all I would say with that is if you are in that, that part of it, if you're not that person who is your own worst enemy, that's going to work yourself into submission, um, but you do know exactly who would come around and, uh, take advantage of you, um, Keep your eyes open. Be be aware. Have every I dotted and T crossed before you ever let anybody do anything financial with you. Just, you know, don't trust anybody that gives you any sort of gut reaction not to trust them. Okay, just be be aware. Okay. Um, let's this is the psychic deck. Let's get some um clarification on this Empress or some information about it. So material harvest. Again, I feel like you uh, ultimately have really conquered something, you know, uh, throughout your, maybe the first quarter, maybe the past week, maybe the past month or two, whatever it's been here, you've really kind of come, something's come full circle to fruition. And now as, just as the, uh, Empress does, um, you're sitting watching things come to fruition and you are reaping the rewards materially of your material harvest. You are able to see that, um, coming into, you know, fruition for you. And that is wonderful. You're able to enjoy that and see that again, your hard work is paying off. Um, and you're able to kind of sit back and enjoy it a little bit, which is fantastic. Um, so let's get, this is the uh, moon deck. So let's get some information here. And this is on the magician on the ace of cups. Uh, let's see if this tells us anything more about that. Um, maybe kind of clarify a little bit or what to do about them if, if so. If it happens to be someone that's trying to pull some trickery on you. Um, all right. The unexpected. Okay. So that card is leading me to believe that for more of you than not, um, this is somebody who's going to try to um, ride your coattails, try to um, benefit off of your hard work, try to um, take advantage of you um, because that it's, it's unexpected. Um, Again, this person may be somebody that you don't trust anyway, um, but even what they do may even surprise you. Or this could be somebody that you normally wouldn't think would take advantage of you, but now that they see what you have, um, you know, times are hard and they might pull some stuff. So again, all I would say is really and truly watch out, okay? Um, for anybody, What you know, you're out you're putting out all these vibes. People are coming around. People are around you. 
uh, people are seeing you, uh, getting attention, getting, you know, uh, offers, getting opportunities, you know, they see your confidence, they see your swag, they see that you're doing well, they see all that from your Ace of Cups energy, they see this Ace of Pentacles energy, you know, there, there's going to be opportunists, okay? Just keep that in mind. Um, and some of them may be unexpected. So it may be people that you normally would not think would um, try to take any advantage of you. Um, and they may actually be. So again, like I said, protect yourself. Just make sure all your I's are dotted and T's are crossed before you let anybody into your business life, okay? <laughs> Dear finances. So due diligence, always due diligence. I'm the queen of yelling due diligence to everybody. Make sure you're doing all your all your background checks and whatnot. It's on everybody before, even if you know the person, find out what shake they're in before they start uh, asking for things or pretending they want to invest in things. Make sure they've got the money to do so before they start, you know, especially if they're talking a big game. Uh, you know, I find that people who talk a big game typically don't have as much as they say so and let's get a last advice card here on our ace of pentacles and close her out for you so our advice here is leader of the light where are you being called to serve and support others okay so again this is saying right here your ace of pentacles energy you're having opportunities you're having abilities okay you are getting lots of chances to do things to make money to go places but i do think that with this what it is saying is um, you know, be cognizant that you have that. Be grateful, okay? You didn't just fall in your lap. We know you put the hard work and effort in, but you're a leader now, okay? Now that you have these uh, connections, now that you have these opportunities, now that you have this um, ability to help people, do help people, do lead people, do be kind. Now, does that say let people take advantage of you? Absolutely not, okay? But this may be where the unexpected comes in too. There may be some unexpected people who are coming to you with hands out and they may not be trying to take advantage of you. This may be where you have to kind of keep an eye out for who is really trying to take advantage of you and who's not. Again, do your research, do your due diligence um, because there may be some people that are unexpected to come to you, people that would never ask you for anything and it's because they really do need it, okay? They really do need your help. And it's not that they want to take advantage of you. Maybe they can't ever pay you back. Honestly, they may really have good intentions, but they just can't. They're really bad off. And these are people you care about, okay? But if you have the ability to serve and help, now is your chance. And again, it's because you have these great opportunities, okay? Because do remember this. Even though you worked your butt off to get here, okay? Somebody always needs a leg up, right? So even if you worked your butt off to get a position, you still needed somebody else to believe in you to give you a raise or a promotion or somebody else to believe in you to give you a chance to invest with them or to be their partner or whatever it may be, okay? So you needed somebody to believe in you at some point in your life uh, to give you your first chance to prove that you were this good, right? So share that, pay that forward and help somebody else. Okay. That's all I'm saying. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you, for you today. If it was, please do like subscribe, share all that great stuff. Otherwise I hope to see you back uh, this week and I will talk to you later. Bye.